Hey football players, today I'm going to talk to you about how you can prepare for tryouts. Now really quickly, if you're not doing anything right now, this is the time for you to get better. There's currently no school in most states and provinces and pretty well throughout the whole entire world. So this is the time that you can actually put in a little bit more time into working out, getting stronger and getting better. Now, how can you prepare to get better for tryouts? How can you prepare for tryouts? Number one is to start working out, whether you're nine years old, 14 years old, or 20 years old, whatever you're trying out for. This is the time for you to start working out. This is the time for you to start getting stronger. No matter what sport you play, whether it be basketball, like my basketball channel, football, soccer, baseball, whatever it may be, you need to work out to get stronger. So if you're nine years old or you're really young, body weight exercises are great. Squats, lunges, push-ups, sit-ups, planks, uh, squat jumps, lunge jumps, scissor uh, lunge jumps, whatever you want to call them, doesn't matter. If you're doing it with proper form, you're going to do absolutely amazing. The stronger you're going to be, the stronger than you are than you of your opponent, which would be the other players who are trying out for that team, the higher chance you're going to have to make that team. You're going to be able to run faster. You're going to be able to run longer. You're going to be able to outpower those players, which means that kind of think of, I know this is a football channel, but think of LeBron James. LeBron James really wouldn't be as good of a player as he really is right now if it wasn't for his muscle and strength. Think of him weaker like let's say Steph Curry, even though Steph Curry is a very good player, think of LeBron James with thinner, smaller muscles, not as strong as he is today. His shooting ability, LeBron's shooting ability would not be able to carry him. So this is why I say you need to start working out at a young age of even nine years old. Body weight exercises are great. When you move up to like that teenager level, you can still do body weight exercises. No matter what age you are, body weight exercises are fantastic. They're called plyometrics. However, this is the age where you can start lifting weights safely, especially if you've already done body weight exercises for a couple of years or even a couple of months. You're going to have the form down so that you're not going to be injuring yourself. Even if you're nine, you can still work out with weights, but make sure to do body weights first so you understand and your body is able to handle the weights and do it with proper form. Now, no matter what age you're at, it's not going to stunt your growth to work out. What will stunt your growth when you're working out is if you're not taking the proper nutrition. If you're not eating right, that means that your body is not taking in enough nutrients which will stunt your growth. If you're one of uh, somebody like I know in my family who may only eat once a day, then at that point you may be stunting your growth because your body needs to have the, the energy the nutrients to recover those muscles and if it's not needing to recover those muscles it's taking those nutrients again away from other things so keep that in mind eat a bit more maybe follow your country's food guide now another way that you can get better and prepare for tryouts is going out and just practicing the positions that you want to get better in so for one if you're trying to be a better quarterback or if you're trying to try out for quarterback what you may want to do is find a partner, find a friend, find a parent, and get a football and start just tossing it to each other. And then maybe if you've got a sibling or whatever and they can run routes, you can say, hey, run whatever kind of route and then pass them the ball, making sure to lead with your pass, maybe working on distance, whatever it may be. And then if you're working on being a a defensive line player, then maybe you can then have somebody hold with a resistance band, hold you back, you'll start in your position, and then you'll explode upwards, like if you were in a game, but somebody's holding you back with a resistance band. Now, that's a great workout, by the way. And then, if you're playing a defensive line, or if you're playing whatever it may be, if you're playing receiver, you can run routes. If you're a defensive line, it's still good to run routes, because you'll be catching a ball at the end. And why is this important? If you get into a, a position 
where later on or right now where you may be in a position to intercept the ball at least you'll be able to catch it. You won't be like one of those NFL uh, Madden uh, players on the defensive line who go up and try and go for that ball, and then in reality they just like bounces off of their head. Um, you won't be in that position hopefully ever, uh, unless you're playing Madden and you're one of the characters. Anyways, practice the position or the positions that you're trying to go out for. Maybe even contacting the coach and asking, hey, um... What positions do you need filled this year? Because if you know what positions need to be filled, then maybe you can go out and work on those positions because then maybe you could fill those positions. Just a heads up, that might be a great way. Anyways, I hope that these, these strategies help you become a better football player and make your football team. If they do, hit that like button and subscribe and I will see you guys again next time.